Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events at all the restaurants and get a medal each time. I'm currently concentrating on E.T.'s Chinese food breakfast and break loose. However, there are no available shifts at E.T.'s and Chinese food currently because I've done all the ones that were available. So, it's breakfast and break loose. And shift number five. Last time around, I think I did shift number four, which was the first time I'd had muffins during this playthrough. This time around, it's French toast, which you prepare in advance, uh, pancakes, oatmeal, which you partially prepare in advance, and muffins again, with grits, sausages, and looks like boiled eggs as the sides, and pineapple juice. 35% buzz and seven serving stations. So this should be relatively reasonable because French toast you prepare in advance, oatmeal you prepare partially in advance, and muffins you do prepare in advance. So, and I can do pancakes, they're not too difficult. No, I shouldn't get overconfident, but I'd like to have a perfect day and get a gold medal because gold medals are pretty. So, let's start preparing French toast, oatmeal, Muffins? Bran muffins, apparently. Well, I buy we'll have some grits, because they're easy to prepare. Oh, okay, we'll have sausages. I might change one of those for eggs at some point. Cinnamon, cinnamon and almonds. And just cinnamon on that oatmeal. And pancakes. Yeah, you don't get many sausages for the side, so I may switch that for e boiled eggs. Uh, pancakes with strawberry. Just so I have more sides once I run out of the sausages in currently holding slot number five. But I will say, none of these foods hold particular fear for me. So, unless I do something stupid, which... Let's be honest, it's hardly unknown for me to do something stupid. Oh, it's not, it's not... That's not lemonade. I hit the lemonade key rather than the pineapple key. Because I wasn't thinking. Yes, I say, unless I do something stupid, which is not unknown for me, this should be... reasonable. Wait, the rush hour? Oh, cinnamon and cranberries the RK, okay. Oh, okay. Cinnamon and cranberry, it's a muffin, it's a French toast, it's pancakes with strawberries, that's pancakes with pecan, okay. And that is pancakes with maple syrup. And just before I completely run out of size, Let's do boiled eggs, poached eggs, and uh, cinnamon with cranberry, number four, s cinnamon. I think I've just run out of oatmeal. Um, anybody wants to f good? No, I'm plenty the French toast. I can start at the top. Oh, I might as well prepare some grits. muffins at this point. Well, I'll get to them in a second. Oh, chocolate muffins. Okay. Didn't I just do the dishes? You really are not happy that I keep doing the chores, are you? I didn't actually notice how many eggs got created when I did the boiled eggs, or boiled and poached eggs. 
I'm guessing not many from the fact I don't... I ran out pretty fast. Oh, eight! That's not bad. It's better than the four sausages. And that's me out of oatmeal again. Could be worse. Should give me plenty of oatmeal for when the um, rush hour starts. Of course, I don't have any for right now for this man in a sports shirt who's wanting some oatmeal at 5.30 in the afternoon. I don't want oatmeal at any time of day, but 5.30 in the afternoon seems a pretty disgusting time to be eating oatmeal. French toast there. Okay. Uh, number six. Okay, what have we got? One. Oh, strip, I just went out of muffins again. Four and five. Oh no, I've run out of French toast. I thought I prepared a load of French toast just recently. Okay, let's do number three then. One. Four. Oh, it doesn't really actually prepare a lot of French toast. Seven pancakes, blueberry, the dishes. There's enough time to need some more. Let's go with sausages. Waiting for my banana muffins to cook. <laughs> and there is my perfect day. There is my very pretty gold medal. And apparently I unlocked nothing. Well, as is the norm, I will go for the, the two emails. Let's start at the bottom this time. Keep your pants on. Remember, next month is National Pants Month. Celebrate by wearing an extra pair or two to work each day, or get creative and sew a few pairs together in a creative pat pattern like Bryson did last year. Bryson is so funny. I think we can all agree that we all love Bryson. I'm guessing Bryson sent that email. NAHPS lot 4696, pink dress. This... This pink dress. I'm looking at that thinking, that's a very funny, for a shade of pink, it looks closer to orange. A very faded orange, but doesn't look particularly pink. This pink dress was pulled from the waters of Virginia after Washington DC and customarily sank into the ocean in 2028. Oh, please. Many residents of Virginia were quick to mock their neighbours' unfortunate luck. Yes, we would if it happened. Yes, I am a resident of Virginia, currently. In 2029, however, the state of Virginia began sloping into the sea. As flood levels rose, the state was soon abandoned. Today, this dress is an important reminder of the dangers of laughing at those whose states have descended into the ocean. No, I'd still laugh if DC fell into the ocean. Wouldn't matter if Virginia then later fell into the ocean, because I'd had the fun of watching DC go into the ocean first. Yes, most of us who are residents of the state of Virginia have nothing but contempt and hatred for DC. It's kind of like when I lived in England, 
you know, all the people in London who think they're you know, so wonderful because they live in London, it's the capital, and it's got all these things about it. The rest of the country pretty much looks at London and the people that live in it with contempt. And I was one of the people, even though I occasionally had to work in London, occasionally had to live in London. I still looked at most of the people in London with contempt, and I do to this day. Kind of like most Americans look at New Yorkers with contempt. And most New Yorkers look at the rest of America with contempt. The same is true of DC, and certainly the states anywhere near DC. And the same is true of London and the rest of England. And the same is true of Paris and most of France. I'm not sure about the Germans, but we tend to look down on the people in countries, tend to look at the major cities. And if they don't live in there and weren't brought up there, they tend to look at them with contempt. And the people in those cities tend to look at the rest of their country with contempt. It's a strange human quirk, but it seems relatively common. Okay, with that philosophical thought, I will end this episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire events in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. Cheerio!